this point, you should have turned in slide number two called Screenshots Through Schoology. That's going to be a grade. It's a 25-point grade, and I'll get that into the grade book as soon as I can. We've now turned in two different things. We've turned in your keyboard drawing. We've turned in screenshots. Speaking of your keyboard drawing, if you look on Schoology at today's lesson, you're going to be going down, and part number two talks about creating on your portfolio slide number three. So when you uh, see this in the instructions, you're going to be going to your portfolio. You're going to need a slide three. Nice. What I'm going to do is I'm here on slide two and I'm going to go to slide, duplicate slide. Now I don't need more than one of these screenshots slide, but here's what I can do. If I come and I click on the table and I click on the border of the table and that table is selected. Can you predict what's going to happen when I press the backspace key? I'm now going to press the backspace key. And you'll notice that the table's gone. Now I want to get rid of these screenshots that are left behind. This can be done a number of ways. I'm going to go ahead and select them and press backspace. I do need to change the title. The title for slide three is going to be called keyboard. And just like that, I've got a slide that's ready to go. Uh, if you want to change the fill color for this one, you may. You're not required to, but feel free to change the color for slide three if you'd like. Now, this slide's pretty easy. What we're going to be doing is this. I'm going to ask you guys to go to your keyboard drawing. I'm going to ask you to take a partial screenshot. You should be kind of an expert at this now. I'm holding down Control, Shift, and I'm going to press the screenshot key. My screen goes dim, and I'm going to take a screenshot of my keyboard. When I let go, I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. Over here on slide number three, my new slide number three titled keyboard, I'm going to paste it by pressing control V. And let's just see what it looks like if we stretch it. So it fills up the whole slide. Yeah, it still looks like a keyboard. Your job is to create slide three called keyboard. Use a partial screenshot, put it on this slide stretch it out and have it looking like this. One more addition before we're finished with our portfolio for the day is going to be creating a slide four. Slide four easily enough created if I'm here on slide three. This is what I'm going to do. I encourage you to do it on slide. Duplicate slide. I have two slides that are duplicates. I don't need this keyboard on slide four, so I'm going to backspace and get rid of it. I'm going to change the title. And the title on slide four is going to be called typing.com. Maybe change the fill color for that text box. We'll develop this slide more in the future. I would just like you to have it in place. Please create slide four, typing.com.